What's going on guys, Carmine here, and uh, welcome to my episode 5 preview breakdown. We have two more episodes left, and this preview definitely was telling us time is coming to an end for this show. But before we get to that, I have to say, rest in peace Masande. This is one of the few characters on the show that was incredibly wholesome, and just all around nice. Masande, like Ed, is one of those characters where she's not secondary status, she's kind of like almost background character-ish, but has a few more lines. And you don't really care about her that much, but you like that she's there. And that was just so brutal. I'm just annoyed. I'm just mad. Not at the show, at like, like the whole situation. But I also love the whole like Varys and Tyrion thing throughout this entire episode about like what they should do about this situation because Danny is going out of her mind. But at the same time, she has every reason to be going out of her mind. But we'll get to that in our episode review, and I might do a first impressions, but first, let's get into the preview breakdown for episode 5. Now the first thing we get here is Danny sulking a bit and Tyrion walking slowly to her. Now I love how they make it seem, especially with the lighting, background music, and the clock ticking noise, they make it seem like it's a horror movie trailer, you know? Like how in the trailers you usually have the scared woman walking slowly towards something, usually a keyhole or a window, to see what's going on and that's when the jump scare comes. It's always in every horror movie trailer and I got that vibe here. Tyrion is, once again, gonna try and reason with Danny, but in a world where she never had many friends, Masande was, was, was one of the few and she just watched Masande die. Unlike Jorah, Dario, and even Barristan to some extent, nobody at first really wanted to be by her side because they loved her for who she was. Everybody either wanted her sexually or, in Barristan's case, to serve the name and be a knight, right? Varys is all about the realm, Barristan wanted to live and die a knight, it's why he quit when faced with retirement back in season 1, and everybody else wanted to fuck her at first. They then grew to admire her. But Missande loved Daenerys for who she was, and to watch Missande die right there, time after time after trying to give peace a chance, I can't blame Danny too much for going all horror film on us, especially after watching that. The next shot we get is of Cersei overlooking King's Landing, which, I gotta say, at first I didn't think this like was King's Landing in the last episode. Like, go back and watch the end of that last episode. Did that look like King's Landing to anybody? I mean, not to me, but I, I just feel like they probably used the set pieces from Casterly Rock for Season 7, but whatever. We then cut to a shot of Jon, finally arriving and facing down the Golden Company who have massed outside the city's walls and are prepared to face anything in their way. The next shot we get is of Euron and his Iron Fleet waiting for any attack from the sea, and then another shot of Tyrion staring at Danny, all concerned. Now, I would love it if we got to see, like, just a little by little, her mind breaking down, especially after that last episode, holy shit. Then we get a nice close-up shot of the Golden Company troops. Now, I, I gotta say, I do hope we get to see them in battle, because they are supposed to be one of the best sellsword companies in Essos. We've seen one sellsword company before, the Second Sons, but these guys appear to be way more professional. And I gotta say, anytime we have any soldiers on screen from a group of a house, or if, you know, if they're just just random random soldiers that are, like, together and they don't have like generic medieval armor, that's always a plus for me. So I gotta give props to the costume department once again. I love this stuff. After a shot of Grey Worm and Cersei, we get some Lannister soldiers setting up another scorpion attack. Now, once again, I gotta give props to the prop department. I love the aesthetics on the scorpion. The one Euron used in the last episode, if you noticed, had the Kraken suction cups on the limbs, likely made for use for ships. And I'm sorry, I have to point that out because I'm such a nerd for this type of stuff, but here we see ones designed for Lannister soldiers to use, likely on the battlements of King's Landing. And then we close out the preview with Euron looking up at the sound of something approaching. We're led to believe that this is a Drogon, with Danny on its back, but it could be a fake out. Maybe it's nothing, maybe it is Danny coming in. The only way I think she could win against these things is to hit them from very far up top. Not like from the distance in the horizon or whatever like she did last time where she tried to. She'd have to fly all the way above them and then drop down like a missile and destroy them all just that way. I don't think they can... I, I pre I'm pretty sure they have to fire it from afar. They can't really, you know, move up like that. So, I think that's her only bet. Though I don't understand why she doesn't just amass all the lords who are supposedly aligned with her. Like, we, we heard Varys say it in this episode that... Uh, apparently there's a new Prince of Dorne, and I'm sure the Vale soldiers haven't really wasted anything, and I'm, I'm sure there's, like, some some guys in Storm's End, they've barely done anything, so why can't they just have them come in as well? But hopefully we get something next episode. 
But guys, that is it for now. Definitely let me know what you thought of the episode and your predictions for episode 5. Personally, I don't know. I, I felt that episode was much better than episode 3, but that's only because I could see the whole fucking thing. So, there you go. We only have two episodes left, and I can't wait to see what's next, because the ending of this one and the preview to episode 5 is really getting me hyped for some reason. I don't know, I just can't, can't stand it, but... If you liked the episode, let me know. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and that bell button. Don't forget to stay notified for all future videos. If you want to connect with me more or live tweet the episode with me, then follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram as well and Facebook, all that good stuff. Link below in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.